So, uh, let's pass this uh, uh, video to just replace animations because I do have uh, a lot of them now. Okay, so I'm going to do a new folder. So I'm going to call animations. I got it in here and I do have, I'm going to add them just so that we go through the process again of how we import things and what to look for. So first I'm going to start with the idle. It's just an idle FBX and you will see that by default it's not in a T pose and also it's not, it's generic. So I'm going to set this to humanoid. Here's one trick. Go to configure, go to save and you will see that it doesn't actually have any skeleton. That's because it's baked this way inside the Maya or whatever software you use that. You can enforce a T-pose, but it's actually kind of wrong. Its position is uh, wrong. Its uh, rotation is actually wrong. So if I did apply this, I will actually have a few issues with retargeting. So the idea is we first going to import a base model. So let's call this locomotion first of all, and just drop the idle here. So I'm going to go and find my base model and I'm going to import it. The base model is the same model, but in this case, it's in a T-pose. I'm going to set this to humanoid. I'm going to apply it. I'm going to go configure and you can see that I don't necessarily have to do much. I can just say enforce T pose, hit apply, everything is green. So I'm just going to click done. On the idle then, I'm going to say copy from other avatar and I'm going to replace the base model with this. So now this animation retargets normally to any humanoids because the base model and the animations were made for humanoids in mind this now will be able to retarget without any problems on any uh, other model that has uh, yeah that basically is humanoid so i'm going to loop time i'm going to go and root and bake the transform rotation and the transform position i'm going to click apply so I'm going to import all my animations the same way. Uh, let me find the first. So I'm going to have a few animations that I'm going to do. Even if they are that many, it doesn't really matter because we're going to group edit all of them. So let me add, basically it's all the directions we have. Jogging, uh, we have eight directions, we have jogging and all those things. So I'm going to switch this to humanoid, I'm going to copy from other avatar and I'm going to go and come down here and hit apply to this. Awesome, so we have all that. We now have all our locomotion and we know that they are working fine with humanoids because they are all humanoid. We're going to have to go on through each all of them and actually make them have the proper settings like this. Okay, hit apply. And yeah, we didn't necessarily need this one. So let's do this now. Original, original, apply. Original original loop awesome Awesome. So let's say, let's make sure we have everything set correctly. And it seems so. Okay. 
So perfect, we have everything that is looking fine. So let's go on to our animator controller. Let's go to animator and I'm going to go and replace my base layer now. We have all of this that I don't necessarily even remember what it's one of these are, but let's replace them. So we have idle, we have, yeah, I think we're missing something. We're missing the walks. And yeah, we do miss them. And a few other things. And let's see, I think I have forward, yeah. Walk backwards. Yeah, let, okay, let's fix this as well. Switch to rig, uh, walk forward, walk forward right, walk left walk sideways and walk backwards copy from other avatar let's find the base model and here we go apply apply let's assign them or let's fix their values first just so that we are done with this okay Perfect. Perfect. And perfect. Okay, we have everything working fine. So let's go and place them. We have idle, we have walk forward, we have jog forward. Jog forward, we have jog backwards, which is going to be a minus one, one. This can stay at one. Actually, everything can stay at one right now. So then we have walk, which is walk backwards, actually. And uh, yeah, walk backwards. minus five okay strafe left jog so that will be jog left jog left okay then we have jog right which is basically jog sideways perfect then we have the diagonals and this one now will be forward left so that will be forward uh, and we're missing that jog forward right hmm. yeah i think i'm missing one so hold on yeah here it is let's name this jog forward left we need to re to make this as humanoid copy from other avatar oops forgot the avatar Okay, so there we go. Original, original, loop this. And forward left, jog forward right. And we also want walk forward left. Okay, and let's replace this as well. Go from other avatar. Flyers. Then on to the animation. Switch this, this, this. I hit apply. And let's go and replace them. So we have jog side left, jog side waist, and we can now have walk for uh, jog forward left. Jog forward left. 
then jog forward right which is this then jog backwards uh, backwards left let's see back left and back right and I think we can actually have walk yeah we can have walk back left and walk back right so let's add those so let's do walk back left which will be minus 0.5 minus 0.5 and 0.5 minus 0.5 for walk back right Perfect. So we have idle walk, uh, which is walk forward. Okay. And mm, maybe we can add walk forward. Okay. Let's add walk forward then as well. So let's do 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and this will be minus 0 0.5, and this will be 0 0.5. And we can have walk forward left, and then walk forward right. Now, these animations are actually outsourced, so I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with them, uh, if I'm going to share them or not, because I would like to have an ecosystem that actually, you know, uh, if I was to share them for free, then we would not have money to, you know, create more. And I think the ideal would be to create an ecosystem that will actually allow me to create even more assets for me to be able to use on uh, tutorials and share them. So uh, I think I will add them in the package for download, uh, but I will actually maybe add them as a separate package to for you to be able to download the assets. Yeah, or you know, so like extra assets. I haven't decided yet. If you have any thoughts about that, then of course, feel free to comment below. The idea is, we would like to have more money or well a bigger budget to create more assets so that we finish this game or make uh, more assets so that we can use on the tutorials okay now even though we didn't actually write uh, any different code let's see what we did with and how it looks okay so you can see you can immediately see that just replacing the animations cannot change the whole uh, feel of the game it actually now looks like a proper game we still have a few issues that we might need to fix but we are halfway there we have walks we have all of that let's lock onto a character and you will see that with the better animations although we're kind of missing a few I think, yeah, the diagonals um, might need some tweaking. And the strafe ones, I guess. So let's put the game view over here and let's see what's happening inside the locomotion, our locomotion tray. Let's select this guy first. Yeah, it doesn't really actually show that much. Okay. So, forward right is actually causing us an issue. So let's see, do we have jog forward left, jog forward right? So let's say forward. And yeah, the issue is that we actually have it mirrored. We have all these animations mirrored, mirrored, which we don't need. 
Our animations are looking perfectly by themselves. They are perfectly aligned. So yeah, that was the issue. You might not have that issue. Yeah, as you can see now it's working more like a real game. I think we still have some issues like this where the values kind of mix up on, the, on themselves. Okay, so this is down and out. Yeah, so I think we might have to play a little bit more with the blend tree, but that's basically the well half of the work for us. We might have code values, for example, if it's like this, then don't play any of this animation, just play an animation that moves you backwards and eliminate a few of the axes. Okay, so I don't want to write any code on this part because uh, it's just replacing the animations. Again, uh, keep an eye out for what we're going to do with these animations. I haven't decided yet. As always, if you want to leave your opinion, then feel free to do so on to the comments. So, you know what to do? If you like to see more stuff like this, which I'm sure you do by now, then consider supporting me on Patreon so we can keep making all of these. I'll see you next time.